Who's there? Don't get in my way, Rangers. I'm going to end it all. End the feud before it ends us. It's already taken everything from me. My sons, my husband, my sister who married a Topekan and her daughter too. Master Kekaba hung my menfolk and Casey James's bombs blew up my womenfolk, all because of pride and selfishness. Well, I'll make an end of both of them. There are no Topekans, and no Atchisons either. Those names don't mean anything. We're all the same tribe. We all wander and work the rails. Folks just like to have an us and a them, so they can blame things on somebody other than themselves. Idiots. A prideful fool who thinks he's a king. He's letting his people starve rather than make peace. All because he thinks somebody's got to be punished for something that weren't nothing but an accident. All the Atchison men are hanging from the Topekan's gate. We've lost a whole generation to this feud. It's long past time for the women to stop it. He may be my leader, but he's as much of a fool as Kekaba. He'd rather have a worthless symbol in his hand than food in the bellies of his people. Casey will deny it, of course, but he's the one who plants all those bombs. He says he'll stop when Kekaba stops hanging Atchison's, and Kekaba says he'll stop hanging when Casey stops bombing, and it goes on and on and on. Well, no more. Casey's bombs didn't pick and choose. He said he was sorry my kin got killed, but it was their fault for being related to Topekans. I say it's his fault for planting the bombs. Why should I be? We're just another bunch of murderers, just like the Topekans. Give me one good reason why. Do you think you'll be able to make peace between those fools? Or maybe you want to kill them before I do. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. But okay, I'll stay my hand until the next Atchison or Topekan dies. If there's another death in this feud, then I'm taking heads. First Kekaba's, then Casey's, then mine. I'll be watching, Rangers. <laughs>